Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and in today's video, we're going to create a wedding bouquet. Now, I wanted to make something a little bit different. When I was in the wholesalers, I saw this sizal cone. Now, this was something that was really popular quite a few years ago. Uh, I've not seen one for a while, and I just thought this would be quite fun to see what we could do with it and make like a wedding bouquet. So essentially, this gives a bouquet that can be held in a different way. It has a different finish and it just uh, visually is different. So if you've got a bride or you are a bride who wants something different, then maybe this would be something that you would quite like. So I'm gonna work from the front so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing and uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm just using this vase really just to support my cone. What I've got is a bridal holder. So these are very easy to get. This has got wet oasis. I find that that is better. What I did was I made a couple of holes each side with uh, the point of my scissors. I've added a wire and we're just going to use that to catch our frame. So so you can see I just come through the cage above and then just twist it off. So the other thing to note as well is we don't want anything sticking out that's going to grab anyone or hurt anyone. So I like to use the tip of my scissors just to catch the wires and bring them back in on themselves. So you're putting that back inside and it's gone. It's not a problem. So now we've got that, it's quite secure. It's not going anywhere. So this has got a natural balance. We're kind of looking for where that is. So that's there. What would have been nice is having a bit of cage down the bottom there, but that's okay. We can live with that. So I've got a range of different things. So we're going to put in our biggest element first, which is uh, this Ripsalis. I need it to be really secure, so what I've done is I've just wired the tip there. I'm going to take the wire up through the bouquet and basically this wire is the thing that will stop things falling out. So especially things like a stem like this, which is quite heavy, um, this is going to hold it, which is great. Now, one thing that I would like to do is just run a little bit of size all round before we <laughs> get any further. After going and hunting for this, because I knew I had some, is just to um, hide that bulky holder at the back. So that's just taken away that white of that, which is good. So we've put in our main piece. And with different materials, you just have to decide how best to wire them. You can skewer through them. You could literally wire so that it doesn't even go in the water, uh, into the foam. It could be just held. If it can go into the foam or just into the foam, that's better. Um, but if not, it's not the end of the world. Now, I'm going to use a few ivy leaves and I'm just doing a loop at the back, a couple of turns and what we'll do is we'll put these in the back now and this will be our backing. So. We just want to 
have it looking nice from the back of the actual bokeh as well. So personally, I like ivy leaves. I think they give a good finish. Now, I'm putting them in upside down, as you can see, and that is because they're to be seen from the back. So basically when we look from here, this has a nicer finish. And now we can start to create our bokeh. So I like this piece of foliage. I thought this would give a really interesting element to it. Again, I'm going to wire it I just need to bring that into where we want it to be scissors just turning the wire round this more like a grouping. So this is going to be quite a funky modern bokeh. I don't really have any preconceived idea of how I want it to be. Um, I think when you have different materials, you kind of just want to see where it goes. So obviously you would have had a discussion about the length and the overall style. Um, so that lets you know which way you want to work towards anyway. This piece, I'm going to put more to the back. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it will create a counterbalance. But also depth as well. So if I just show you what we're getting, we're starting to build a bokeh like this that could be held straight up and down or it could be held on a tilt. There's going to be a lot of movement in this because of the materials. But that's going to be quite interesting. So I also have these crotons. Now these leaves that I'm using are probably a little bit too young. You want to make sure that you're using ones that are, you know, really nice and rigid. They're not going to wilt. And that's important for all your material. But I liked the yellow color on this. And all the things that you use in floral design of line, uh, focal points, recession, that's all going to still happen in a bokeh that is completely different. You know, you're still going to have all that. Uh, you're going to have all those same elements are still going to come to the fore. Now, this is actually <laughs> the foliage of my red hot poker plant, which is maybe not the ideal one, but I wanted something that had a bit of a line. And this is going to give us that line. Now, if you're worried about material as well, I could wire it and I could then tape it. 
So if that's not going to go right into the foam, I could just tape it and it'll be like a corsage. It's out of water, but it's sealed by the tape, but held by the wire. But I think those two lines make that really start to be interesting. It needs something quite heavy there or a good strong line. Once we get into our smaller materials, we don't actually need to wire them. They can literally just go in to the holder, especially into this top area. Uh, because actually where the top is, there's not the, there's not the chance of it falling out. I was quite tempted to do this as just a greenery arrangement, but we'll see. <laughs> I think it would look really, really nice with just foliage. And what could we do with just foliage? I think this is kind of fun to actually make something that is different. Um, so much kind of bridal work is very <laughs> floral and pretty and lovely, and that's nice, uh, but it's nice to have the idea of making something different. So I always like it when someone has a different vision of what they would like. Uh, and generally, I would, maybe I'm wrong, but I would say people who are a little bit older sometimes are a little bit more adventurous. And, uh, you know, they've, they've probably done the traditional wedding and they want to do something different. Uh, so, being able to do a bokeh like this might really tie in with what they're thinking, what their theme is, what their feel is. So now I need to really decide, are we putting flowers in it or are we not? Yeah, I think we will put in flowers. Now what we can do with this, um, this big rose, is we can put a wire up. So we're re basically reducing the, the thickness of the stem by adding a wire. But we can get that in. Now, I do have some really nice green Kermit-y croissants. So get your wire through. As you can see, I'm really wiring a lot of this material. But it doesn't all have to be wired. Like, if I know I can put it in and it's secure, then fine, so be it. What you just want to be really sure about is that there's nothing going to fall. Now I know some people like to <laughs> glue their flowers uh, or put glue onto the flowers for going into the foam base. Personally, I don't know how that works with wet foam. I would have thought wet foam is going to not let the glue dry. I could be wrong. So if you are someone who regularly uses uh, wet foam, uh, but then also uses glue, 
Does it work? Can you tell me? I'd love to know. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. I'm just really working with things that I have. Um, so because the frame of this was yellow, I've had to look for the yellows. So this status is not something I would normally think of putting into a bokeh, but actually, if we're making something that's a bit different, then this is perfect then. So we're still following those classic lines of a bokeh. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a couple of gerberas. And these stems are quite fleshy. So I'm going to take them all freely and just wire. And even tape them. So what I did was I put one piece of wire up the flower and then one through the flower and round. So we're getting a nice strong stem, but we're not having any issue with having a big thick stem. I think that um, so many weddings are quite neutral and I think we miss out on the opportunity to really have a pop of colour you know something a bit punchier uh, and this combination is really zingy really poppy I love it so just overlapping them is quite interesting and I think what I'd like to do is take one lower down. Do you know what would be nice in this would be um, some berries, like hypericum berries. Would be really cool. Now we've got to a point where we've got our big elements, we've got our key elements. So now it's really just a case of filling in any spaces. So, you're looking at things now that are going to just create the little detail, the little, um, little touches, but also like with that piece of Ming Fern, it's actually doing a job of hiding the oasis as well or hiding the foam, should I say. Just like this little bit going in here is going to do that job as well. Now, what else do I have? Add a couple of little pieces of solidago. So as you can see with this, it's not even a case of needing a lot of material. It's just getting a nice mix. And putting them together in a nice way. Hmm. I want to put this in there, but the stem is not particularly strong. So I'm just going to wire it. I found when I had my shop uh, and I was doing a lot of wedding work, I would leave something like this to the morning of the wedding. I would come in early and 
I would uh, have complete peace and quiet. So you want to do things when the phone's not going, you're not being interrupted. And uh, you're getting the peace to do it. I like this. What would be nice would be is maybe bringing a piece of this further over or into here. So let's just do that. Now, I'm going to wire this with a couple of wires. People are always asking me about wires and uh, what thickness did you use? You really need to get the feel of the wire. And remember, you can double them up, you can triple them up, you can quadruple them up. You can, t you can basically work with what you've got, but you can also make more of it um, by the fact that you can adapt the wire to suit what you want. Now, the other thing we can do with a piece like this is we can add little touches of glue. So we could put a little dot of glue so that that will not move. Uh, you know what I mean? Like these basically are fixed. So I could glue that into there. In fact, let's do it. It's nice that things have a little bit of movement but it's also important on the day that it doesn't change so much that um, you end up with something totally different. So, just by adding a little touch of glue there and there, we can basically hold that. And that is really our funky modern bokeh. We need to just have a wee look and see if there's anything else we wanted to add. Personally, I think we're there. I don't think it needs anything else. Um, you've got to know when to stop. And really, our videos are to give you some ideas. Okay, so we've got our finished bokeh. Now what's interesting here is I was kind of slightly thinking, do we add flowers or do we not? But I think actually having this pop of yellow, we've not put it right at the front, but we've got it there and it ties in with the handle. So really we need that little touch of color to make the handle have some meaning. So that color needed to come into either the foliage, uh, like the croton leaves, or into some sort of flower. But I'm really loving this combination of this orange with, I'm, I'm not sure what color you would call that, to be honest, but that ties in with the croton leaves. The orange just gives that absolute contrast. We've got the zingy green of the croissants is really picking up on the greens of the foliage. And we've got nice lines. So this is the kind of bokeh that you could hold straight up and down. You could hold it more forward. You can hold it down beside you as opposed to out in front of you. There's a lot of kind of ways to work this bokeh and to carry this bokeh. You could walk with it to one side or to the center. It really works in lots of ways, but having this drop of material really makes it very elegant, but this mix of unusual materials makes it funky and different. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. We've got new videos every week and we'd love you to join us for our next design. If you've not already subscribed, then please join us uh, by subscribing. If you tap the, the bell button, you'll get notifications of our new content. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, then press the like button. That really helps us. And also, if you fancy watching another video, have a look in our description and we've got a link to one of our other uh, bokehs 
um, that you can have a wee look at and get some ideas. I think today what has been quite interesting is making something different, but also the use of wire. So we've gone to a, a fresh or a, a wet mechanic to keep your flowers fresh, but we've really used wire to make sure that nothing falls out. So this is a secure bouquet that's really going to catch the eye and make a big talking point. So thank you for joining us and we hope to see you soon.